Hey you guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Living Coastal in Ventura, and today we're gonna to talk about all the fun things to do in Ventura. I want you to stay to the end because we're gonna save the best for last, but sit right back and enjoy because we're gonna go over all the things to do in Ventura. So let's start out with the areas. Now, most people are attracted to the downtown area and the beaches. That's because we have the historic mission that gives the view right down Figueroa Street and dives right into the, into the ocean. So one of the most simplest things to do when you show up here is to go for a walk. Um, you can either start out by going downtown. Um, it's really nice to start up at what they would call a cemetery park. And you can walk downhill um, right into the downtown scene. We've got plenty of shopping. One of the funnest things is to, you know, during lunchtime or during the waking hours is to just walk along the downtown scene and do the shops. But it gets super fun at night as well. Then it's, you know, turns to a pub, a pub crawl or bar hopping. We've got um, several um, breweries right here downtown. Um, Botanical Garden is a must see. It is so beautiful all around the year, but especially right now in springtime, it is just gorgeous. My daughter loves anything color and she's particularly loves flowers. So we're not, we're not crystal shopping downtown. Um, we'd love to go to the botanical gardens and walk through the hills. There's very many trails. Um, it's not boring at all. There's always something to discover and something new to see. And you're getting um, all the colorful plants and flowers from different parts around the world. And we get to see the views um, of the ocean and the islands from here as well. And then from here, you can go right on down to either the pier or the promenade. We've got <clears throat> several palm trees that sway with the views of the Channel Islands right behind them. You'll see this is one of the main surf spots in town, you know, going from a cove all the way up to the river. And then the path actually starts to go back up the river uh, towards Ventura Avenue and then gets onto Highway 1. From there, if you're really into biking, you can actually ride your bike up to you know Carpentry or Santa Barbara, but for this for about 10 miles, you're literally like right there on your bike, right along the coast. Um, but it does make for a really excellent bike ride. People come from all over um, to ride that coastal ride. But then also from this area, there's a path that goes on up to Ojai. It it goes close to the 33, but it kind of intertwines. Um, with the river so you really get a touch of nature especially this time of year we've got some waterfalls um, a, a lot of waterways um, you'll see some wildlife and a really soothing bike ride that you can take right on up to Ojai you know or, or either way um, in addition to that uh, downtown we've also got Ventura's museum at the Museum of Ventura you'll hear about the history um, of the the Chinese uh, fire department that was down here. You'll hear about uh, Tortilla Flats and um, how this started out as an oil town and with the missions. To the harbor, some of the things that you can do there, you can get in, there's several different places to get beach access where you can get in and you can do stand-up paddle boarding, which is one of the best places to do stand-up paddle boarding. It's not really in the surf, but right there in the harbor. And then you can also uh, take, a, take kayaks or do like a kayak tour with the group. They've got, um, several different vendors that can take you out. And Harbor Town is a real classic place to go. Of course, they've got that, that coastal cone, you know, some really great, you know, ice cream spot. They've got the Greek, um, they've got Mexican food there. They've got some amazing fish at, at Andrea's uh, Fish House. They've got surf and taco. That's the Harbor area. If, you're, if you want to make a real adventure out of it, um, you need to look up Island Packers and take the boat out to the Channel Islands. Um, one of the largest kelp forests are out th right out here in the Channel Islands. Um, there's uh, fishing, there's, um, there's protected areas for, for all wildlife. There's uh, an island fox, and you can hike out there, you can snorkel, you can kayak, and it is spectacular. It's a national park, and it's, it's closest access is right here out of Ventura uh, Harbor. So. I highly recommend doing that if you really want to have a big adventure for your time in Ventura. Um, other than that, let's skip back over towards the Seaward area. The Seaward area is, is really nice. They've got, um, you know, some fresh made juice and some real health spot right there. Then we've got, you know, some fried tacos across the street. I believe we've got some sushi over there. Then we've got classic Dukes. 
Um, they've got a nice long bar and stage in the back. They throw some pretty good parties, but some of the best burgers in town you're going to find right there. So if you're doing that Seaward Walk, it's a real nice uh, short walk. It goes through a couple streets in Pierpont. You can go get a glimpse of the ocean, come back to the shops, grab some food, and then be on your way. It's a nice little place to stop, but for the people that live there, they really love that. If you take Seaward from there and go straight up above to the Poli uh, foothill area, you're going to get to Royal Verde Park. Royal Verde Park is a gorgeous park. It's got trails that go all the way back into the hills. You can do as much running, hiking as, as you could want. But right in the main base, they've got these big fields. They have bathrooms. Um, that's a couple of dollars to park inside, or you can park outside the park and just walk in for free. They've got this really exceptional playground for kids, you know, ages, you know, two or three on up to probably 12 or 13 and really, really fun playground and park. It's newer, so it's gotten really popular with the locals to, to go back there. Going out to the West End, one of the really nice parks is Kellogg Park. It's a newer park. It was one of those areas that was a chain link fence area. And um, I think Jackie Pierce got together with a couple of other West End residents and said, hey, let's get the city you know, to buy this land and let's build a park there for the community. Um, a really modern park with like great fun activities for kids in the center. But then it also has, um, you know, kind of like these workout machines all the way around. So and with a track that goes around it, a DG track that goes all the way around. So that way, you know, you're kind of encouraged to, to exercise, you know, and not just sit there. So it's, it's, it's really well thought out how they did that. And they even have a little uh, stage area um, for, you know, doing little shows or having little events for locals and things like that. The big news about fun things to do is skateboarding. Ventura has long been a, a great skateboard culture, whether it's like street skating or backyard skating or ramp skating. But I think it was about 20, 25 years ago, they, they did push for parks to be built. And there were some parks, you know, Ho Hobart maybe the most flowiest park. And then um, they've got one by Lowe's. And then the West Side Park is probably the most recognized um, with its with its wall but we're gonna see that area and the land next to it again the city getting involved and they're gonna build one of the the biggest grind skate parks and you know everything from like user friendly to very advanced and you know that's that's definitely gonna you know be here for the community but definitely attract some folks too to come and visit you know or even move to Ventura um, we do have a lot of pros that live here now. Um, X Games, we've talked about that before. They're going to be coming uh, to town. So th th there's a lot going on in that, you know, extreme sports arena. You know, the surfing enthusiast in Ventura is, is then you've got, you know, the whole stretch down towards Oxnard to kind of drive and to pick and find waves to yourself and a whole big stretch from here to Rincon to kind of find your own spot. So it's really great. It spreads the crowds out, keeps them from all being in one spot. And you know, that's really great for ocean goers, swimmers, surfers alike. So just out of town, about three miles up, if you guys are into surfing and you're visiting Ventura and you wanna to learn to surf, there's one of the best, you know, beginner beaches to surf at uh, known as Mondo's Beach. So you guys I just wanna say thanks so much for watching. You know, Ventura really is the perfect small town on the beach. It's just big enough to have a good time, to have the downtown scene with plenty of outdoor activities, surfing, biking, kayaking, um, all that you could want to do in the outdoors of botanical gardens. Thanks for watching Living Coastal and we'll see you guys in Ventura.